do a video about grounding and what helps and what can you can do as a friend or a relative of someone who's associating but also to give um, sufferers something um, to take away and think about and what they can actually implement to help themselves as well. Um, so anyway, I thought I'd kind of start with the basics. So if you find someone who's obviously dissociating, obviously spaced out, uh, the important thing is to say that you are a safe person, that you are not going to hurt them. And you need to repeat this as many times as it takes for the person to realise you're safe. And it could take quite a long time, so um, be, be prepared to say things a lot. Um, like... It's kind of like talking to someone who's got dementia in a way because it's starting to reach them. It takes a while to reach their brain that you are safe um, and they are safe with you. So that's the first thing. Then you need to kind of get them to almost tell you what's around them. So get them to kind of say what's happened to them and also get them to kind of say what's led them to this environment, what's, what's happened. Um, if they can't tell you... Um, move on to the next step which is kind of getting them to list everything that is around them so when I dissociated the other day um, a lovely woman called Kate um, and a lovely other woman called Dan um, both got me to list the colours in tulips this isn't the one because obviously um, that one sadly passed away um, but she got me to list all the colours in the tulip um, so grab a flower, grab something like a rock or anything like that and get the sufferer to look at it and explore it and it doesn't matter how long this takes, it doesn't matter that you have to find various objects, um, just get the sufferer to list what's around them and that's the most important thing. Um, then kind of ask them if they've got any grounding tools with them and, um, and if it's okay for you to go in their bag. Um, so they might have something like this. This is a glitter bottle um, and it helps to watch the glitter. Um, I find that really helpful. Um, got this which is a twist and lock block. If you want one of these they're like £1.50 on Amazon I think. Sometimes you get a pack of two or three um, so they're really good. Um, another thing is a fidget cube. Um, so like we've got a shiny bit here, you've got clicky things, we've got a joystick, we've got a light switch, um, we have got buttons, some don't make a noise, some do, um, and then you've got a smooth bit there which I quite like to like rest my finger in and it's so tactile and it's so grounding. Um, the other thing I've got is um, Play-Doh uh, which might be seen as a kid's toy but actually is so helpful. Um, it grounds you because you can feel it, you can mould it and also you can smell it and it smells quite nice actually. Um, for some like I'm doing a commercial for Play-Doh. Um, then I've got this. Um, basically the glitter moves and you get to watch it and um, the younger parts like this because it's so pretty and you can get the person to list the colours in it, you can get them to kind of say what they like about it, what they don't like about it um, so that's really helpful. Um, I've got this little purse um, and anyone who knows me will know that I carry this around religiously. I cannot stop um, I can't stop myself from carrying it around because it's amazing. Um, in it, I've got this. Um, and my therapist, Jill, gave me this when I first started seeing her. And it's about worth. And she said, how much is this worth? Pretend. pretend. <laughs> um, and I said, £50. And then she scrunched it up and said, how much is it worth now? And I said, £50. And then she ripped it in half, um, hence the sellotape, and said, sellotape it together. And how much is it worth? And I said, £50. And then she hid it from sight and she said, how much is it worth? And I was like, £50. And she's like, you were no different. You're worth isn't changed by this and I carry this around with me all the time. Um, I've got smelling salts uh, which I'm not going to open because they are very strong but they are very helpful if someone is very dissociated. Um, I've got my favourite marble. <laughs> it's really like if you if you've ever like if I've ever let you hold it you know I really trust you because it's so nice to feel. Um, I've got this little guy here and um, he's quite cute um, and I've got his friend too. Uh, they're quite tactile, quite nice to play with. Um, I've got some lavender that's quite helpful too so yeah i've got loads of random stuff in here and then and this is like woody and this reminds me of my best friend leanne um because we have a thing about saying we love each other to infinity and beyond and if you can carry something that reminds you of someone that's very important to you and who you love 
do it because that's why I carry little Woody because it reminds me of Leanne um, of whom I probably wouldn't be alive without her um, she has saved me from very risky situations and she's kind of inspired me to do this video because she's really helped me and also like other friends too have really helped me to feel grounded and you know who you are you know who you are who've helped me um I'm entirely um eternally grateful um my psychologist got me this and these are touchable bu bubbles and um you blow them you have to wait for a few seconds I think it is and then they're like they just sit um, like they can attach to your hair and they'll just stay there, it's a bit like glue, so be aware of that. Um, got this, um, this helps with panic attacks, so I just mirror it to my breathing, that's quite nice, I quite like that actually, I need to put that down actually because I'm going to just play with it all night. Um, he makes a rattly noise, um, so anything like that, um, and then we've got this, which is kind of like a lava lamp. You can kind of see the blobs kind of fall, and I love that. Um, and then, what else have we got in here? We've got this book. Um, this book is from Leanne, who I spoke about um, just a few seconds ago, and um, it's got some nice quotes, so that makes me grounded. So it's like, you can build yourself your own little toolkit, and I think that's what's good about grounding, because you can make it quite personal. Like, I've got Mouse, and this was from another friend, and mouse lights up, which you can kind of see. Um, obviously, if it was darker, you could see it probably more effectively. Um, like, if you have something that's got colours on it, like this rag roof that I've been making today, um, just get the person to list all the colours, or what they like about it, what they don't like about it. It's just a lot of kind of, you've got to meet the needs. So you've got to meet, like, touch. You've got to meet smell. You've got to meet um, all the other senses, like taste. Um, you've just got to meet them so that like people can ground to the here and now and that is the most important thing when someone's dissociated never leave someone who's dissociated because they will wander off and they will go missing I promise you that because I have done that so many times that a lot of my friends kind of expect when they get called from the police you know they know who's gone missing um, because I wander off I go all sorts of places I've been to London and back I've been up to York, back down to Hereford, overdose, stuff like that is very dangerous. Um, and that's why I'm in hospital right now, because, you know, it's not safe. Um, so if you find someone who's dissociated, please stay with them. And if you can't stay with them, get someone else to be with them. Um, do not leave them by themselves unless you absolutely have to. Um, because it's so dangerous and, yeah, I don't, I don't want someone who's dissociated to be left alone because I know how that feels like I know what it's like to just wake up um in London with no one and then have to confront the transport police to be brought back to Hereford it's not nice um so if someone could have grounded me then before I, I think maybe it wouldn't have got to that stage so please use these tips um and like let me know if you come up with any other ideas because like I'm always looking for things that will really help so yeah thank you and just thank you to all my friends that have grounded me in the past you are amazing and um I love you so much so yeah just keep going keep grounding be in the here and now and I am here if you need me